Yo, what's going on ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today we are once again back on Modern Warfare and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the brand new Dragunov Foreign Relations Blueprint. This is a brand new blueprint unlocked in the Season 6 Battle Pass and it's actually a pretty fun one to use. I would say this specific build is meant to be a quick scoping class setup with the Dragunov. I know not many people are out there quick scoping with this weapon obviously because it does sometimes take more than one shot to take somebody out. However, it's a lot of fun to use and there wasn't many things that I wanted to change about it because I was having a lot of fun with pretty much the way it was built. However, there is one or two things that I think we can change to make it a little bit better. We've got great movement speed. Obviously, it's built to be very aggressive and hopefully you guys will be able to do well. Uh, now, what you guys are watching right now is me demonstrate what this specific class setup is going to play like uh, against some multiplayer bots so you guys can get an idea before you run this thing uh, just to see some gameplay and understand what it's going to play like. But nonetheless, without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into the attachments. So if you guys take a look at the attachments, we're not going to be using a muzzle. The barrel that we're using is the 510 millimeter compact barrel. This came with the original blueprint, obviously giving us ADS speed and movement speed and a really nice boost to mobility. So again, the 510 millimeter compact barrel. The laser that we're using is the TAC laser. This is going to give us ADS speed, aiming stability, and aim walking steadiness, which is great for an aggressive Dragunov class. Obviously with this, we're going to get boost to accuracy, mobility, and control. But again, the TAC laser. The optic that we're using is personal preference. So the original blueprint doesn't come with an optic i decided to put on the vlk three times optic now again I, I stress this this is personal preference i was running around with the original optic i then tried out using the variable zoom and when i put on the vlk i just found it so much easier to quick scope with and to just do well while playing aggressive because this is built to play aggressive with i think the vlk is the best way to go what's also nice about the vlk with uh, other than some of the other optics is that you don't lose ads speed you actually gain ads speed so that kind of just adds to the mobility making this thing that much more aggressive and uh, it's a lot of fun to use you guys can see in the gameplay uh, early on me using it and seeing what it does if you don't want to use a VLK, you can stick to the original optic. You don't have to put anything else on. You can try out the variable zoom. I didn't really like the variable zoom that much, and there's really no need for it because if this is an aggressive setup, we really don't need to zoom in anymore. So uh, I left that off running the VLK again, personal preference. You guys can decide what you like better there. Now the stock that we're using is the FTAC Hunter Scout. We're keeping this the same. Obviously the pro is aiming stability, giving us a nice little boost to control. We're not gonna be using an underbarrel. Obviously the only option is the bipod, which is useless. Uh, and we're not gonna be running any extra ammo. Again, we don't really need this. And all this is gonna do is hurt our movement speed and ADS speed. And last but not least, the perk, I decided to change. It was presence of mind, which don't get me wrong, is obviously a great perk to use with snipers. But for a sniper that we're playing aggressive with and mainly quick scoping with, we don't really need to hold our breath that long. So I found that sleight of hand was definitely better to have if you're running around the map playing in those close quarters gunfight situations uh, you know you might be spraying and praying this thing you want to be able to reload quick so sleight of hand is a great perk to use but i'll give you guys one last look at all the stats and attachments to come with this specific class setup if you guys have any questions or anything else to add about the original blueprint or the class that i share with you in this video please make sure to leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to try to get back to you as quickly as i can but i really hope you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see all you guys in the next video